starting with a little flour, a little dough, a dough scraper, pizza pan, and of course, the rolling pin. We start by working the dough. Uh, the recipe, of course, is at Chef Depot. Flour the dough like so, round and round. Shape it in your hand a little bit. Ready for the rolling pin. Back and forth. Have to turn the dough. Back and forth. A nice crust should be about the size of your pizza pan. 16 inch diameter, looking good. If you want it to be a little bit thinner, keep your hands rolled into a fist. Give a little toss. Scrape up the flour, like so. Next we take our pan, we add a few breadcrumbs, like this, so the pizza crust doesn't stick. Put our pizza crust on top of the pan and very quickly go around the edge and roll the edge under. The finished crust should look like this, should move on your pan. Chef Marinara loves a fine red wine. You should make it a pizza like this. You put the sauce down in the middle, lots of sauce, don't be shy. You spread it around, nice and thin like so, round and round, right up to the edge. Not too much sauce, not too much cheese, makes a very good pizza. Next to toppings, we're going to put a little bit of garlic on this pizza here. We're going to put a few, just a few olives right around like this. Uh, ingredients can be above the cheese or below the cheese. I have a nice part skim mozzarella, low-fat mozzarella cheese here, just like so. A little bit of sausage, like so. I got a few little uh, tomatoes on here too. A little bit of Parmesan cheese. Gotta have Parmesan cheese. Bake it right in. The flavor is unbelievable. A little more cheese, okay, and in the oven it goes. I always bake my pizza at 450 degrees and finish on the pizza stone. Makes it nice and crispy. That's the way Chef Marinara likes it. Now that's a pizza! Now that is a really good pizza! Listen, the pizza is sizzling. It's getting crispy on the pizza stone. You must have a pizza stone.